also are Xantrex, Freedom HF, Inverter, all sun stops working. Microwave, on and off. Everything does not work. So we will be troubleshooting and see if we can fix it. Okay. So the volt meter. It's supposed to read 12. Okay, so there's no... So it's the battery. Probably the battery connection. Yeah, whole connection of things down there. Okay, let's go see outside. Alright. This right here um, is a positive cable. So you got the one connect, uh, one end, let it run to the junction, and the junction, it got the wire that connect. So this one here run up to the junction and you have all the um, junction cable or the positive wire that is right here and you have another one which is uh, uh, this big one right here so the big one right here if you trace it is this right here and right here and connect to that battery so since uh, we know that it's all in one hot junction, so I can test if I have a power for my junction. So when I put in here, positive, and if I touch any ground, I should be 12. Right there, 12 volt. So I know that junction is hot, it's good. And uh, from why that this one here that connected to the uh, um, uh, inverter. inverter and it, it got the uh, fuse in the between uh, to uh, to protect the inverter. So if I test from the hot end then I should get 12 volt which is I got 12 volt and then I can uh, touch on the uh, core end um, nothing it did. dead so if uh, if if the fuel is working then this this end it should uh, be hot too so we need to change the fuse right there. Yeah, so we're going to try to change the fuse. Okay. Alright, we'll try that. But let me wear gloves first. <laughs> yeah, put your gloves on. Oh, it's just really tickle, right? It's a little tickle? You sure? You're not going to become like ashes? <laughs> fry. You're going to be like those cartoons. You're going to fry up. Right, so we're going to remove that and hopefully we can um, go to O'Reilly or something to find a replacement fuse. Like this. 
we'll go to Volvo, they have it. Volvo? Yeah. Pretty cool thing. You wanna close it back up like that? Yeah. It's yeah. fine? Yeah. Just gotta make sure that a hot end. If it touch that, it's gonna show up something. So you just take that out and then just put that back in so it doesn't make sure? Okay. Just take just take the fuse, you don't need the whole thing. Be safer. This is what we're looking for. Let's see. Hopefully this is the only problem. So we can get back on the road and running again. With the microwave and everything, you know. Let's put that back first. be heading to Volvo. It's pretty much for sure that they would have this piece instead of running around town looking for it. Okay, so now we're gonna check. So if yes. it, if the fuel is bad, then we're gonna put it onto ohm, right? Yeah, ohm ohm mode. So if the fuel is bad, then you shouldn't have. Uh, uh, shouldn't read anything shouldn't have open it should read open it should, it should be open you see so when it open it means it's uh it busts inside so like um so the fuel inside is it's it bust so it's open so basically it doesn't have continuity you know what i mean mm -hmm. so when you don't have a continuity if it um if it if it's good fuel then it would read then 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 uh then uh yeah then uh it, oh, then it's is... gonna have a continuity all right let's go to volvo okay so if it's a good fuse this one should be a new one but for something else but if the fuse is good see if a good fuel then it should read like 0.1 ohm 0.2 ohm it had a continuity see this is a good fuel the brand new fuel mm -hmm. see so, being this case, this one did, that's why it's open. Yes. Alright, let's go. So, we found one at O'Reilly's for four ninety nine, dollars And now we're heading back to the truck and hopefully that will be the fix. Alright, here's the new one. Time to go with this one, right? Yeah. See? Okay, this, this is one, the new one. Yeah, well, uh, point one, point 0.1 ohm. Right. Very low resistance. Okay. So it's not open, so this one is the good one. Compared to the bad one earlier, it was just an open circuit. Yeah, this one is say OL. Mm hmm. When it's OL, it means open. There. So this one is bad and that one is good. Hopefully this will fix everything. And don't mm -hmm. forget to yeah, use for that. this, the corrosion uh, uh, so it protector. It helps a lot. All right, <laughs> let's get back to our truck. Okay, so here I put that stuff in there. Yeah. Um, we call it the fuse back in that. What's that box called? Uh, I think it's just uh, like a junction box. A little junction box. Yeah. You you have more can you squeeze yeah. something? Yeah. Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah.
Okay, and put the... Where's the... That one? Yeah, squeeze in the... Squeeze in the bottom. Oh, shit. That's okay. Okay, and okay. the top too. I'll just put it... I'll just finish the package. Yeah. Okay. So I did put a lot of this stuff in there. <gasps> Dang! Dang! <laughs> people. Good full battery, you know. Mm-hmm. I think you should have wore rubber gloves, right? Yeah. Well, now you know it works. <laughs> yeah. I felt that shot through your arm. You? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Man. Full sun now, so I think the lighting is a little bit bad, but hopefully everyone can see it. All right. Moment of truth. Let's go test it out. Moment of truth. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so we changed that fuse out there by the battery. It had no power before um, when he was driving yesterday. Um, we couldn't use the microwave or anything. There was no power whatsoever. So we tested that out, um, the inverter, and we traced it out to the fuse that connects the to the battery, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we yeah. put a new one on. Yeah, so we check um, on this end, and then it, and it, and it uh, no power. You know, it's um, it's it dead. Okay. So we trace from here to underneath the truck uh, to the battery, mm -hmm. and uh, found out that uh, one end of the uh, fuse has uh, it's hot, has power, and then the other end has power. So uh, we took the fuse out and check the continuity. And it's, and it's, it was and bad. Uh, yeah. The fuse was open. bad. Open, so we so changed we it. And thing. now? Now, okay, let's try. It works! Uh, now we're good. Oh, yeah. Now you have a microwave again. Yeah. Okay, so you guys saved you guys. How much was that converter? Inverter? Like. Inverter is about like, like 500. Five, 600 bucks, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And this is the OEM one that comes actually uh, with Volvo. So, you guys, you don't need to spend five, six hundred bucks and then whatever it is to install to, for a new one. We spent what? Or uh, take it to the shop and Yeah, and don't then, need to take it to the shop. And then pay them two hours for diagnostic. Which is a, what Volvo was a hundred fifty bucks per hour to for yeah. diagnostic, and they charge two hour minimum, I think. Mm -hmm. And then plus one probably one hour of work. Mm hmm. So this saved you guys a lot of money. Just is an easy troubleshoot, and all we spent was four ninety nine, and then what a dollar seventy for the gel. that package the, the di electric uh, gel electric gel. Mm -hmm. So. There you go. About so six bit, bucks. So we spent about, yeah, about like six, eight, bucks. eight dollars total yeah. with tax. Yeah. Okay, and now we gotta put this back on. Mm -hmm. There you guys go. Fixed. <laughs>